Good morning, the character one here. So, so according to uh, the data read out, um, Manchester United will spend £27 million on PSG right back Sir Joria if his appeal gets overturned next week for a sort of a police officer. Um, I'm, not, I'm not getting my hopes up because th this is just like Gr Griezmann. This says, ever says done deal, he's coming, blah, blah, blah. Lo and behold, he's staying, uh, he said he's staying at last minute. I'm not getting my hopes up regarding that, but. Should it happen, I would be delighted with that because we do need a right back, re regardless of what people think and say. Um, yeah, and th another thing th that's annoyed me really, people like people just just saying to say and they keep saying, "Oh, would they get into Real Madrid side?" Uh, bloody hell, I re I remember bloody Real Madrid signing bloody J Julian Forbain, bloody Thomas Graveson in their Banser era. So, so, I remember. Travis went there in 2005 or summer. Yeah, I remember we, I wanted to, to sign him. And Forbear went there in 2008 or 2009, I can't remember. But yeah, and he also signed jo Jonathan Woodgate as well. So they do sign shit players as well, you know. It's not just us as well. Um, so yeah, that myth that does does annoy me, to be honest. Oh, he, that, can he, does he get into Real Madrid's team and all that shit? Piss off. Um... Also, we play tonight again. Not bothered about, about the result. We could lose four nil, not like nah. And I mean, really, it's pre season at the end of the day. I've said it a billion times, and I'm like, and I'm gonna be like a broken record right now. It's all about the West Ham game next Sunday. Forget about about the result. We could win five nil tonight, and I'd be like, yeah. And that there's a point getting all giddy and stuff about pre pre season, and um. Like I said, it's all about fitness and build, building up to, to the West Ham game next Sunday. Um, also, away for the fo football stuff. Um, like, like I said yesterday, I would like to thank all the comments regarding yesterday's video about the non-football uh, uh, stuff. I do like d doing them, to be honest. Um, also, last night I was watching some of my old videos. Oh, my God. To say I cringe for... Would be an understatement. God, I was like, "What the fuck was I doing?" To, to be fair, to be fair, I thought they were funny. To be honest, well, I, I don't like praise myself much, but I thought some of them were funny. That if I had to choose my favourite video, hmm, it, it has to be that the hay is staying because I remember, I remember all all summer thinking, "Oh, he's gonna go to Real Madrid." Last minute, fax machine gate happened. And then he signed a contract a week or two after. I'm sorry, it was he yeah, was on a Friday. Uh, yeah, I I can remember that. God, so I I say that's my best video, but I think the Matic one comes second for me. Um, also, if I should choose my third favorite video, um, Matic signed would be the second one. My third one would be Lukaku because because um, it was out out the blue the one where we agreed the feed that that is um, like I was like my God we just had one of the best strikers in the Premier League he's tw he's twenty four years old as well so um, yeah I I was I was happy with that so th those would be my top three to be honest but anyway um, also. The, the, I do like doing the non um, football topics to be honest, um, because I, I, I because I, I think he you get to know me a lot, lot more. Although I did f a couple of videos a couple of years ago saying so get get to know me stuff. Um, so yeah, um, um, also I saw the abuse on social media regarding my um, was it about me singing about Matic? Grow up, it's called time to laugh, have a have a sense of humour. <laughs> I mean, really, people tell me to have a laugh, and when I do have a laugh, they, have a, they abuse me. I just can't win, really. Uh, but you can't please people, oh, everyone at, at the end of the day. But uh, so, yeah, Aurea, uh, oh, what his fucking name is. Because someone well, please cor correct me the way I've said it. Is it Aurea or Aurea? Oh, God, this is, this is like bloody Koscielny Koscielny for me. God, and he's, and he's been that fucking ass for seven years. But uh, yeah, uh, I like, like I said yesterday. I'm, I'm happy with my life. I'm happy with the people that I met. Um, 
yeah, I'm, 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 I'm actually happy for once, and I haven't been, and, and that's me saying that doing do my videos because I'm not, I haven't been able to say during, during the, during the time I've been doing my videos, I'm happy, because, since when I first did my videos, I, I, I was nervous and shy, and nervous because I've always been a shy, and nervous person anyway, and, um, yeah, I think I've c come up, come out, out, out my shell really, and. Yeah, I I like talking about myself really because I just feel uncomfortable talking about myself really, and uh, I like uh, talking about other people. And um, so yeah, I, I I'm generally excited about my life really, and do you know what? I'm I'm actually happy for once. I really really am. Like, like I said, I've like a broken record. I said that about two, probably two or three times this morning. But but you get you get but you get what I mean. So I think I met, I've met new people and come out my shell in, in that time as well. Yeah, it's a, ma it's a massive deal for me to be honest, because about f about a month or two ago, I, if he told me I'd meet new people, I'd say no chance. I I, I would say oh I, I I prefer staying in the house and stuff. But right now I like going out a lot more because I like meet meet my friends and stuff and. I like coming off with them, although I haven't met, I haven't met some of them for a week or so. But they've got busy lives and stuff, which I completely, completely understand. I don't like another thing, I, which I don't like. I don't like pestering people. I feel like I'm annoying them. Yeah, I already annoy people with my videos. But anyway, um, sorry if I if I'm going off on one. I I just like talking about non football stuff for a bit because oh, the task of doing is to do my head in. My source said this. My source said that. Fabinho's joining. Oh, piss off. Excuse me. Seriously, people. Th this this is why I don't like the transfer window. Don't get me wrong. I get excited when United sign a player apart from Bebe. I think I explained that story once before. But when... Oh, but these ITKs do my absolute tits in. My source said this. According to my source, exclusive. Blah, blah, blah. We'll sign for United in a couple of days' time. In other words, you know, fuck all, just like everyone else. Oh, God. I swear to God, if I saw an ITK, just don't. They fucking annoy me. My source said this, according to my source. Yeah, according to my source, you're a bedwetting virgin. Jesus Christ. But anyway. um, So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with my life at the minute. I'm off work um, again today. Then I'm back tomorrow. Not my luck. Probably United will sign someone um, tomorrow morning. Joke. Um, I do what Perisic does get done, but I'm fearing deadline day. Although, I haven't seen the deadline day signing from United since Martial. Hmm. Yeah. Holy shit. That, that was two... Yeah, two years ago. My God. Dearly me. Already shit the bad. My God. God, it's been two years already since he joined. Well, yeah, it's two years next month. I was like, Jesus Christ, my God! For me, he's been one of our best signings since he, since Van, since he joined, and and one of one of Van Hal's best. Although Van Hal's not not not, not at the club, but you know what I mean. Um, again, I'm gonna cl clarify something. I genuinely believe we're gonna win the league this season because it feels different, and we don't have the dreaded that. Thursday, Sunday, Europa League, bollocks neither. Yep, I generally believe, I'm not a betting man, but we're going to win the league this season. There's no point beating about the bush about it, because eh, I, I'm superstitious as fuck, but I thought, fuck it, I'm going to do a video about it, and do you know what, it's my opinion, you don't have, you don't have to agree with it, but well, like I said, we're going to win the league this season, I just have a good feeling. Even before the start of pre season, I saw I saw training. Lukaku gelled well with the players. Uh, Lindelof has settled in well with the players. Everything about the club feels feels different this time. It's like uh, the Fer Fergie days, in my opinion, the Fergie era. But uh, yeah, I, we're going to win the league. That, that's my opinion. I am not even scared. I'm not scared of Man City, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Spurs. Name me a team, I'm not even scared of them. We have the best defence in the league when Lindelof settles, the best goalkeeper, the best midfield, and the best forward line in the league. 
throw me any forward line and I will disagree with you. Right, to me at Carrick United, subscribe to my to my channel, the Carrick Fan, comment below that video. Adios.